biggest problems for students here at Contra Costa is that they have to balance both their home life and their school life. And a lot of times, you know, they've, they've got jobs, they have children, um, and I think those are two of the biggest issues. I think, I think they're very individual. It's, it's difficult to go to college when you have to help out your family. So if you've got family to, to contribute to, that's, that's difficult. Having um, too much classes on your hands. Them not having books in stock, and if they don't, well, you have to get them online, and then books come in really late, and you can't do the homework, you gotta cancel the class, it's, you don't get the class, and you have to wait another semester. To find the time. Financially, it's difficult with the increased tuition, which, you know, it's still a chunk of, of money. So finding time, finding money, uh, and then learning to be confident in oneself, how to learn, can be a new, it's a new game. It's all, every step up is a challenge, and so it becomes a challenge because you're working at college level. More is asked of you. You can stretch and grow, so you need to be supported and emotionally that way. Having to complete every single assignment on time. Um, well, the student offers, of course, the Skills Center here where you can get tutoring support. In sciences, we've got Center for Science Excellence, which is a nationally acclaimed uh, program. Counselors, counselors. And where are they located? In the student services We do have um, child care available on campus, and a lot of students don't know that there's low-cost child care available here. Financial aid uh, is, is important, and that certainly helps with financial needs and yet the money doesn't always come when you need it and that's difficult and that goes all the way back up to the state level so you know you have to you learn to get in there and fight for yourself and, and find people that are going to help you. Uh, in previous semesters they had an academic skills uh, scholarship and if you were taking a basic skills class you could earn a scholarship. The hub which we now have starting out which is in our PS 107 where counselors show up in a couple of days and faculty can be there. So I don't know if they just aren't aware of the resources or if they don't have the support, the understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you guys today about education. Yeah. 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 We all have that friend who tried to take a class but could not get in. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. We all have that friend who tried to enroll but couldn't afford it. Yeah. We all have that friend who we know would do so well but for one reason or another just can't get themselves to college. Access to education should be equal. myself because I don't have the money. That is why we're here. That is why we march to remind our legislators that we, the students, are not to be forgotten. Give me the tools I need to succeed. 
know what happens when we have those. The world opens up to us. We need education to be fair. I want your friend, who we know would do so well at university, to transfer there without having to worry about if they can afford it. What I'm asking you, my fellow students, faculty, legislators, and friends, to take a stand. To tell those elected officials in that building not to forget us. We're not here to fight or be angry. We're here because we care. And that is why we march today. Because we care. And that is how I know that our education is worth having. Because it has been a hard journey to get here. Education is worth it. So rally on. Because this is our shot. This is our shot at beginning a legacy like they started in the 60s. To see our fellow students succeed like we want them to succeed. We Martin Luther King Jr. said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. So don't stay silent. Let your voices be heard. And here we are. that into our meetings with our legislators and tell them how much we really care.